to keep the camera rolling for a second, Jeff yeah. Howard from Las Vegas, my best friend is here. Oh good man, from Las Vegas. Hi Jeff Howard. I'm coming. How are you man? Are you a journalist as well? I am, I'm a film critic. Wow, fantastic. Film critic. Don't criticize me in front of my girl man, it makes me look bad. <laughs> Tony and I have been friends for over 20 years. I love Tony man, I've met Tony many times. Well you don't know him very well, you would never say that. Is that right really? Alright, well listen, I'll, give me the dossier later and I'll give you a full report. Are you singing to, uh, tonight or tomorrow? S uh, singing? Tomorrow. Okay. Tomorrow, 6 o'clock in the Grand Ballroom. I will be there. I hope you will. I'm hosting Linda Carter. Are you really? That's beautiful, man. You're a wonder woman. This is my interview now, Toscano. Yeah, hey, listen, Take off. Yeah, listen, we got Las Vegas here. For crying out loud. You mean, so you sing? This is just a, a fake I, get up here? I know, man. No, it's not a fake. I know that that my background is in being in bands and stuff like that. And I was a studio singer for years and years before I started doing voiceover. And then that just really took off. And I went, wait a minute. This is not nearly as complicated. I think I'm going to focus on this. But yeah, I had a band called Rock Sugar. A few years ago, we came up. We, we mashed together 80s metal with 80s pop. So like they'll play an ACDC song, but I sing a Madonna song. Song, if you can imagine that, or Metallica with Journey, whatever. Thing took off, millions of YouTube hits. We've gotten to open up for Aerosmith and Slash and ACDC and some of the biggest rock bands in the world. Yeah. But you've done some of the most iconic cartoon characters of all time. So when, when people meet, but when people meet you, you know, what do you have to do to convince them? Look, don't let the looks deceive you. I'm really that guy. No, basically, when people meet me, they want me to sing "Pour some sugar on me." That's what they, you know. So the ones I get past that, then I do the cartoon voices, and everybody's happy. <laughs> <laughs> I know, man. This is my life. This is my life. And, and here at FanX, here we are in Salt Lake City. I love Salt Lake City. I travel City. all the way from Vegas to meet you. Come on, man. I appreciate that. There it is. By and Carly, like, I see you too. Oh, Hi. I, I'm not ignoring you. By the way, you like, you like, you like, you like 60s Batman? Uh, very much. I was born in 66, so this is the 80th year for Batman. I'm going to give you a treat. I made this. I'm gonna give, did you really? It's yeah. beautiful. I'm going to give you a treat right now. Can you hear me clearly? This is good. So for a long time, I was the official voice match for Adam West. Really? I did all Adam's stuff when Adam wasn't available. And I'm going to give you my Adam West, which I haven't done in a long time. Okay. So if it sucks, it's because it's rusty, but here it is. Robin, old chum, we've got to save Gotham City from Catwoman. <laughs> Dude? Dude. That's, that's fantastic. Oh, come on, man. It was bad. I haven't even done that in like three years. Like, that's the most impressive Adam West I've ever heard. <laughs> it came out of <laughs> my, my mouth. <laughs> that, like, zoing scuba, buddy, old pal. That was great. Wow, this guy. Stop being better than me in front of my girlfriend, dude. What's well, this about? Here's the thing is, Tony Toscano, Mr. Yeah. Film Critic over, over there, there for Salt Lake. Yeah. You know, you said about June Foray. He took me to lunch with her one time in L.A. I never Blew my that. mind, right? Yeah. And also, Adam West at, at the Exus, Exus House Hotel. I can't even of say course, I know Essex. Essex House. Yeah. yeah. He was having breakfast there. And he goes, I know Adam West. We're having breakfast. I go, sure. And we did. Oh, you're kidding. No. Was that a great moment for it you? It was. June Foray and with Adam West, Tony's like hooked me up with some of the greatest moments. You know, when I met Adam West, for the first time, we walked to the elevator, and we're standing there at the elevator waiting for it to come down. And I said, "Mr. West, I, Mr. West, can I tell you something?" He goes, "He goes, yes, sure." And I go, "I just want to say thanks for not being a jerk, because if you'd been a jerk, it would have ruined my whole childhood." He goes, "What a sweet guy, greatest guy." And we had just done this cartoon session, and I had a Batman moment because he shook my hand and he looked right at me and he went, "It was the best time I ever had." And I'm like, "Oh my God, it's Batman!" It was so cool. It's exactly everything you want him to be. Well, that's a great story. Yeah, man, it's cool. So have a great time at Fine next the fans are all here to meet you fans i love you guys and i love your and, friends, you know and right. your wardrobe's awesome too but i hear you have a hey, ah, dude, look, look at the plus look at the plus see i love Segway. that about you listen man all you people watching this go wow why does that why does this guy look like this it's not just because i really want to be in white snake it's because me and my girl are starting a fashion line this is Kara. it's called caress fashion it's going online this summer but if you go on there now and register you'll get 10 percent off that's this twice 10 percent off so check it out you don't have to go full blue. if you act now yeah you don't have to look like las vegas where he lives but you can get a little something to make your wardrobe come alive, match your girlfriend, match your boyfriend, whatever you want to do, and it's fun. So check it out. All right, back to Fan X. Back to Fan X. Let's do this. Huh. <laughs> Amazing.